Proverbs 31 verse 28 part A. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Archbishop Dr. Yuna Guti, on this day, we as your daughters arise in one accord to extol your virtues. As you have graciously groaned in prayer for us to become that woman, that Proverbs 31 woman whom you humbly epitomize. Through your prayers, we have been clothed with strength, comforted in the noise and chaos, spared from harm, and delivered from unseen traps of the enemy. We see the mother in you that cries not only for your children, but for all your daughters across the world. Called by God as a girl, and today you are an archbishop, an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor, a mother of many nations. Your life has shown us as female pastors a trajectory that our own lives can also take if we are clothed with strength and honor. If we practice what we are taught by our Father, the servant and apostle of God in this church. We see you wear so many hats, multiple roles that you execute with excellence. You are a wife, a mother to your own biological children, and thousands and thousands of spiritual children across the globe. A grandmother and an inspiration to many and a friend to many young people. You have made practical demonstration of how a woman, a female pastor can submit to her husband while remaining a vessel of influence. You say, woman, rise up and take your position, not above your husband's head, not under his feet, but side by side to him, next to his heart with a sweet spirit. You tell us to be outstanding in the work of God. You direct us in the goal quickly, women's ministry, today's woman interdenominational conference, you teach us as female pastors to become intercessors. And you are credited as being the first female marriage officer in Zimbabwe. On education, you continuously encourage us to keep pursuing greatness. You are an author who has fought all odds that come with the business of the calling. When Baba speaks, you understand the vision. You receive it with a burden and carry it and teach everyone who has an ear to hear. The light of God shines through you to us all over the world in different generations, different nationalities, from different backgrounds, you embrace us all. Mama, we love you. We are honored to be your daughters. We say long live in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mama.